All right, Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well, and Shalom to the Akim that's pushing his truth and sincerity across the four winds. All right, um, I just want to get into a, a quick video, and um, this is going to be based on this um, this article I've seen on the uh, Verge.com. Now, um, it reads here Apple patents interchangeable AirPods design with biometric sensors, all right? Now, um, the reason I've decided um, to do a video on this particular, on this particular um, news is because, you know, when you, when you see, you know, any technology regarding, you know, biometrics, um, NFC, you know, brain chips, RFID chips, you know, this is all heading towards what? This is all heading towards the mark of the beast that's spoken of in uh, Revelations, the 13th chapter. All right? Which, you know, we might as well go to it right quick. Because in Revelations, the 13th chapter, you know, it talks about the beast. It talks about the image of the beast. And it talks about the actual mark of the beast. And the mark of that beast, right, is the um, the RFID chip technology, man. All right. Now it says here, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. Now this mark is talking about the RFID chip, which I'll get on the screen so you can see what we're talking about when we mention the RFID chip, man. Because this is major prophecy that's spoken of in the Holy Bible, right? As you can see here, this is an RFID chip, man, which goes into the right hand or into the forehead, but really it goes into any part of your body because it also makes it very clear in Revelations that if you get this chip in your body, right, then you've taken the mark of the beast, man, all right? And that's that, that that's what it is right here, man. And with this mark, as it, as you can read it here in the scriptures, and that no man might be might buy it or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, man. So if you don't have this this mark right here, this RFID chip, you know, implanted in you in that day, in that great and terrible day, then you're not gonna be able to buy or sell. All right, but then. You know, you gotta understand, you gotta have faith in Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And I'm talking to you, Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right? This is who this video is really to because the other nations, they can take the mark, man. It doesn't matter whether the other nations take the mark or not, right? They still gonna go into slavery, right? But if, 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 you're, if you're an Israelite, you know, if you're an Israelite, if you're from the tribes, you know, if you're from, you know, if you're either a Negro, Hispanic, or Native American, and you go back to, you know, the tribes of Israel, you know, and you take that mark, then you're going to receive the judgment, the penalty of taking that mark, man. All right, now back to this article. It says here, Apple's AirPods may may be the best-selling, best-in-class wireless earbuds, but they're not for everyone. Due to the shape of some people's inner ear, the headphones simply don't fit every possible, as every possible ear shape well or in some cases cause pain when placed firmly inside the ear. That's a major drawback for $160 pair of headphones, especially ones that could easily be lost and are definitely not cheap to replace. But a new patent, filed originally last year and awarded to Apple today, highlights a possible solution. Interchangeable universal AirPods that could use built-in biometric sensors to perform health tracking. All right? Now, Every time they talk about this um, RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, they always talk about the health benefits that this um, this device will have, right? They always talk about the health benefits. They always talk about the um, the navigation benefits. They always talk about you know how you can um, have ease of paying for items and opening your home with it. You know if you got RFID enabled home, you know these are all the benefits of the mark of the beast, man. But as you can see now, they're starting to put these benefits in things that people use in their everyday lives. And one of the major things that people use in their everyday lives is headphones, man. Right? Headphones, mobile phones, you know, laptops, you know, your cars, 
you know this technology is getting put everywhere man and why is that happening that's happening so you can get accustomed to this technology before they roll out the big boy which is going to be this RFID chip man right so they're already getting you people accustomed to using this technology before it's even arrived man so when they do finally release the big boy right the RFID chip which is the mark of the beast it's not going to be much different from you from you using your headphones which had that technology or you using your car you know your, 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 your hand opening your your um, car with your hand because you got people out there that actually have the mark of the beast already you know there's there was also a club where people could actually get into the club using the RFID chip man right so this is all you know slowly but surely you know getting the masses accustomed to the technology before it actually hits man they're giving you a preview a trailer of what it actually is before they just hit you with it man right because at the moment you still have many people upon the face of the earth that think that the idea of having something implanted in your hand is very invasive and very personal but that is slowly and surely you know getting um, dwindled away man and people are just coming around to the fact that it's more convenient and it just makes sense to have a, a plantable RFID chip implanted into your hand, man. And believe me, Esau is gonna, Esau is gonna, you know, create more ways of making the people actually want this RFID chip, man. Because it's gonna come to a stage, you, you know, he gonna cause you to take it, but the, you're, you're gonna have an abundance of people that are actually gonna take the mark of the beast because they actually want to take it and they actually want it in their life, man. Right? That's the point that we're coming to right now. Jake are going to want the RFID chip, man. The two thirds are actually going to want to take the RFID chip. I mean, you know, you got over there in Sweden, um, a large majority of the people over there, you know, you know, they're, 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 they have the mark of the beast, man. Right? They're already, you know, getting into their, their work buildings with the mark of the beast. They're paying for items with the mark of the beast. You know, cash cash is pretty, pretty much a thing of the past when you go to Sweden, you go to certain other countries throughout the four corners of the earth man you know there was also a video i done a few um, a week ago where they were basically saying how vietnam is you know slowly doing away with cash man all right so you know many nations man upon the face of the earth are coming to the real realization you know that you know they want to do away with cash man and that's all because esau edom has been putting a lot of money you know a lot of promotion a lot of marketing into the market of the beast and the rfid technology all right and it's, it's, you must realize that this technology is a billion dollar industry right now, man, right? And its worth is going up by the day because it's going to be the staple and it's going to be the main function that the world operates under, man, all right? Now, um, and it says here, and that no man might buy or sell save he had the mark, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let he that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 600 free score and six man so that's the mark of the beast man that the bible speaks of all right and here's a picture of it once again because you know you're going to be subject to take the mark of the beast man because it is going to be it's going to become mandatory one day real soon man right now we, we can't put a, a particular date on when it's going to become mandatory but we know through looking at the science and looking at the things that are happening in the world that this is going to be the main thing that is going to be in the world man that people are going to want to desire you know some people will reject it but you know you're going to be faced with death man right but you know the elect of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai you know they're, they're going to choose death they're going to be kept from the hour of temptation as it tells you in um, Revelations uh, chapter 3 which we'll get right quick and then we'll close out uh, this is Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, man. So you, everyone's going to be faced with that question. Are you going to take the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, man? Well, the elect ain't going to take it, man, because we're going to be kept from the hour of temptation, man. For you, how about Shin Yao Shai? All right? But I'll cut it off there. That was just a quick update video. You know, just to show you that these companies are getting hit with this RFID and biometric technology, man. All right? And, you know, with that, I'll say shut up one.